want to talk about how these sort of visualizations can be used to try to find double fetch vulnerabilities. A double fetch vulnerability or a talk to vulnerability, time of check, time of use, is when potentially the system is verifying some information at the time of check and then later on it uses it at the time of use but that information could have changed between those two points. So there's a couple different contexts where you might have talk to attacks in the context of uh, UEFI firmware and Intel firmware. The first one is that you could have a situation where the system is reading in firmware and it's verifying it for purposes of like measured boot or secure boot. And then if it then later on in the graph reads it in again, then there's a time period during which an attacker could have changed the data and it was verified and all good here and clean at the beginning, but then it's dirty later on and attacker controlled. And so if that data was code, then that would mean the attacker would be able to just straight inject code into the system and cause arbitrary code execution at boot time. Alternatively, if it was data, so just general UEFI data ranges is going to be up around here in these graphs, which you could figure out by basically picking a given point and uh, looking at that in a tool like UEFI tool, you know, you just select a point, figure out what the actual literal value is for that. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty with precision because my uh, mouse is blown up and so the pointer is not exactly where I think it is. But so for instance, you could go back into your CSV file, go to 37137, see the actual literal value there, convert it to hex, go into the hex dump, use something like UEFI tool to parse the, the hex dump as a proper UEFI firmware file system. And then you would see that, you know, in this range is generally where UEFI variables are. So you could tell what any given variable is at any given address. But the point is, if you had a variable, something like the secure boot variable that says it's on one point, but then it's like maybe checked again later on in the system to decide what it's going to do. If it changes between the time of check and the time of use, like if it's reread, if it's double fetched, then an attacker could potentially control that as well. So what we're looking for on this type of graph is anywhere that data is used and accessed and read, and then it's reread somewhere else along the line. So we're looking for duplications along uh, the horizontal axis. So in this case, you can see places where you might find duplication. Well, this is all, you know, there's nothing going on in parallel. Here, there's clearly a whole bunch of rereading going on. So basically, the question we would have to investigate is, is this variable data? Is this code data? And even if it's code data, just because it's reread doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be re-executed, right? So it would take further reverse engineering to determine if a reread of code, like if we say this is some code module in the firmware, if a reread, if it's read here, and then it's executed again, you know, after it's read the second time. Like, so if it's executed and then reread and then executed again. So that again requires separate reverse engineering. So this is just, you know, an example of how you do that. You just kind of, you know, search around, you look for places that you can potentially see horizontal duplication of data. And so, you know, sometimes it may not be clear. It's like, okay, is that exactly overlapping? Is it not? And you just have to kind of, you know, eyeball it or select a point and then go back into your CSV file and uh, select the point again. So this is from, you know, my example system. I'm going to pull up a different system that, you know, I was looking at for attack. And I'm going to look at that data instead. So it looked something like this. And so, you know, I would maybe zoom in on this and try to find anywhere that I see horizontal. And this right here looks like a big sort of horizontal reread. So let's zoom in closer on that, keep the vertical axis so that um, it's more clear. And then, yes, indeed, this does look like it is clearly being read here and then reread. It's fetched and then double fetched. And so if there's any sort of, you know, time of check, if there's sort of integrity verification going on at this point, and if I can swap out the data between this point and this reread point, then perhaps I can, you know, manipulate the, the values to some beneficial way, whether it's changing out code or changing out data before it's used again. But again, that's the kind of thing that requires reverse engineering to actually figure out, you know, what is this data and uh, how is it used? So that's part of the point of this sort of visualization is just to give you a sense of how you can use it in support of reverse engineering. But again, reverse engineering is not the purpose of this particular walkthrough that will be covered in other areas.